all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here. And it is day 28 on the frozen rock. And it's a wonderful day. The sun's coming up. I was doing a few maintenance type things around here. Actually, let me check something. I should have looked at something already. Uh, I'm still good on food and water. Uh, so I've been doing some maintenance stuff. One thing that I have discovered, I'm starting to run into a storage problem. So I added add storage. So I'm probably going to have to figure out exactly where I'm going to put a large storage container. Uh, I'm just about done upgrading on the cargo truck. I added a camera. Uh, I'll actually be able to move that over once uh, we get done today. Uh, matter of fact, that's the first thing we're going to do is take that out for a test run and see how well it, it handles. And I also set up, let me get over here. I've set up all of my sorters. So if we go over here and let's look at this one. Uh, I have, so I've got the four conveyor sorters in. Uh, this one right here is set up for all the different ores that we'll, I'll be bringing in through here. Now, I'm not sure about the iron and the nickel. Those will Energy run... Low. Those will run through the uh, rock crusher and the oil purifier. The question is, I'm not sure if it will... It should get pulled all the way over to the basic assembler which processes iron nickel and cobalt and uh, silicon and copper so those get processed over there if we look at this sorter this is set up for stone so that it will go directly over to the refinery when it comes in uh, this one is set up for oil sand so it will get pulled in and go directly over to be processed and then this one is set up for lithium ore niter sulfur and coal now i probably might be able to run that through the rock crusher and purifier but for now i just got it set up to go directly to the chemical refinery because i think that's the one it has to use that so these are all set up. So what I want to do this morning uh, is take the cargo truck and run it up and get a load of oil sand. Now I did add a backup camera on there and I also added two more batteries. So I have two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got 14 batteries on here. Uh, to run this and I also put a little put some more uh, uh, steel blocks on the back of this which isn't too much alright well I need energy but I got plenty of food let's go get that oil sand and some gravel and we'll see how well my sorting system works and all right so we want to switch the batteries over to auto unlock and we should be able to all right and the oil sand uh, you know what i need to do Get this a little closer. I need to do this. GPS, I need to turn my oil sand mine on. Let's flip that on so we know where we're going. All right, let's go get some oil sand. We've got about two hours worth, which is pretty good actually, of battery power. So that should hold us at least not have to run too far. Uh, but that should give us plenty of power to 
be able to run pretty much anywhere that I'm going to want to drive this. So, let's get up here to the mine. And I think I've got my speed limit set just about right. Okay. I don't like to speed along too much. Hopefully, we have enough power to get up the hill. Let's take it right up through here. Not too bad. And with the rubber tires, we're not getting the clunking, which is nice. It's still holding its speed limit. That's good. Now, I don't know how it will be for a load going up the hill. I know here. All right. I know here. We're going to be going downhill, so once we have a load on. All right, so let's park this. And let's uh, get back inside in the seat. Let's hop out. And let's make sure it's not going to roll away from us. That would be a real catastrophe. All right. Seems to be sitting there okay. All right, so what I am going to do is I'm going to actually grab gravel and oil sand. Uh, and uh, once I get the uh, cargo truck loaded up, I'll catch back up with you all. Okay, I am got the last load coming up out of the mine and uh, wouldn't you know we're getting a little bit of a snowstorm it's not too bad but a little bit of snow <clears throat> now I have this completely full uh, I've got the connector that's filled the control seat is filled I've got uh, the both all of the containers uh, all five of the containers full and I'm full and so now what we're going to be able to do is uh, pull down there well barring any problems getting down there but I had to do some adjustment on the suspension and whatnot and so let's see how this is going to perform all right we are in Let's go to our outside view. Uh, let's take our brakes off. Uh oh. Oh, oh, good lord. Uh, boy, little, uh, little bouncy there all right this if we get to where we're just kind of going side hill slow her down a little bit Let's kind of swing over this way. Uh, not too bad. Let's slow it down. And if we just get down over this hump, we should be good. All right, it's a little shaky. I should try one more test. 
Well, we've got a full load. Let's see how it does going uphill. Uh, might have to do some adjustments on this thing. Let's see how much power it can generate going up with a completely full load. This will be a good test right here. Not, didn't do too bad there. Okay. Well, it's still gaining power. It's losing a little bit there. I think, I think it will do the job. I mean, I think we can manipulate it, get it up the hill. Certainly going downhill is no problem. No problem at all. Okay, I'm kind of happy with that. Might have to do some tinkering. Uh, I should see if I can actually put those 5x5 five five wheels on here that will probably make a lot of difference so I might have to do some more modifications to it but at this point it's going to serve what we need to be able to get the uh, oars back to the base and now the next next trick is get it hooked up to the base and see if this is going to, if my uh, sorting system works. So we're almost back to the base here. And uh, yeah, so far so good. So if this all works out well, then I guess the next trick or the next task is see if we can't get to maybe the lithium I think is what I'm gonna go after first oh, I did get the rest of that scrap cleaned up over there so that is pretty well alright let's slow this thing down Swing around. Let's get somewhat lined up here. All right. Let's see how this rear view camera works. So what I like to do is line up on that lower light. as much as I can with my cross. There we go. And, uh, all right, we're attached. Okay, and we only used 4% of our battery. So I'm real happy with that. I think, I think our batteries are good. So let's go ahead and sit those over to recharge. And uh, let's get out of the camera view, back into here. And if we look, we should see, let's just go cargo, and it's already pulled out all of the connector, and so it will automatically pull that out. Now the only thing here is it will not, since, since the type of seat that I had to build, it's not going to pull from there, and it is, uh, and of course I have to unload my inventory. So let's go over here. It didn't, uh... Alright, there's nothing there yet. But this is working away. 
Alright, so we know that the oil sand is coming through. I wonder, let's go over here. Okay, so this is where the stone got pulled to. And that's fine. It could get pulled over here. So it did. It pulled... Let's go ahead and unload that. And... I don't know if we can get into our... small cargo container. Uh, well, let's just, uh, we should be able to, can't we? Well, sometimes you can kind of get into the connection. Like there, all right, I wanted to get into all right, well, let's, let's do this. All right, there we go. Let's go small and small cargo. All right. Gosh, I'm not sure which one. It's probably that one right there. Everything's probably all pulled through. Uh, and... Well, I guess I could have done it from... I still got to... Actually, you know what? I got to get rid of the oil sand that I have on me, so let's do that. Uh, let's go... I should be able to pull and drop that in there. And yeah, it's it's pulled all the oil sand into there. And then if we hop back on here, since I got to get into that uh, inventory on the control seat anyway, uh, let's go cargo. So it is going to, what I should do is set that, well, that creates problems. But it's going to slowly pull, as it's processing, it'll pull all of that out. So let's grab this, and then we can let that just sit there and empty out. Right. Well, good. I am pretty happy with that. Uh, bit. Let's see if we can get this all in there. Good. There we go. All right. Now that's going to sit there and process. And okay. that's that that worked out pretty well I like the uh, gravel everything getting pulled where it should be <clears throat> uh, now I need to start thinking about storage so my thought process is I don't know if I want to have one of those large storage containers sitting outside the other thing I could do is maybe put it up over here someplace. Uh, might be a good spot for it. But it would give a place for the ores to get pushed to, uh, any of the excess, well, any of the excess uh, products, uh, parts will stay within the particular machine or refinery that it, it has but this needs a place for gravel and stuff like that to go to excess cement 
Uh, these types of containers over here are pretty nice, but they you can't connect them to the base. So they're just storage containers, and that's it. So I think at this point, I am going to kind of start working on... Uh, well, let's go back over here. Where's our... right here. Uh, oh, I could finish another acid battery. Let's do that. Let me get another one done. There should be enough cells there. Uh, let me go up here and uh, get the parts. And then I think we will have these done. Yeah, I just got this, this one here. And then we'll have all of these done. Come over here. All right, we've got everything. Well, we've been pretty fortunate that uh, we haven't had anything spring up and attack us, but that's not going to last forever, I don't think. So I think the other thing we got to look at, I need to see what I've got. These have power just based on the, that uh, turbine is there. And this is an acid battery. So I think... What I will do is I need to get these uh, finished so that there will be power out here. And I've got all of these. But I didn't put a battery in here. So I think what I'm going to do... Let's grind this out. Alright, I need to get parts, which I think is steel. We can throw this into the... Throw that there, and that should take care of that. Pretty gravel, just what I need. Alright, uh... What's an acid battery take? I have one down. No, I think I replaced it. Uh, power, power. Power blocks, alkaline, acid battery. Uh, let's drop that down there. All right. Steel plates, all right. And let's... Uh, it has... What is... I guess it's just, uh, there's no difference. Small acid battery. Acid battery. Alright. Well, let's, uh... Let's grab some steel plates over here. And we can get that in pl get these in place. And then as we go forward, as we build more bunkers, then this will just be part of the build is adding the acid battery. Come on, there we go. Yeah, let's put it in like that. All right. Uh, all right, let's go one. I don't know if those cells are done, but let's go see if we can build one of these. All right, yeah, it's still producing acid cells, so. We'll let those get done. Go ahead and get this built as much as we can. So 
So the only thing that'll be lacking is just the additional acid cells. And then that'll be good because that'll give storage. Uh, did I get... That's full. Uh, looks like I need to bring more gravel over. So we're actually getting close that we can actually start making real turrets. Better better protection. That's the other thing I gotta get back to, it, which is on the bottom of the list. So I think, let's see. Uh, got that. Uh, I can't finish the ore purifier until I get lithium. And that's going to be the next trip. Uh, and then I... Until I get the titanium. So I guess the next thing I need to start working on is, is to add storage. And I'm thinking that that... I hate just having it out as a full exposed storage unit, but maybe I can kind of drill down in and maybe kind of build it underground. And So I've got piping over to here. I could run the piping out under. And again, this is just going to be a place for the excess flow of stuff uh, that can be put into there. Alright, I tell you what. I'm going to do some thinking here. And once, once I get a better plan of attack, I'll catch back up with you all. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, I think I have a plan that I want to put in place here. So, I'm going to put a large storage container sitting up right here. So, they're three by three. So, uh, I am going to put a uh, conveyor uh, block in here. And then I'm going to put a conveyor block under this uh, car small cargo container, which will... Uh, connect it all into the the system and in that way oh that's fairly close I'm gonna go grab that here in a little bit when I get done uh, but I just want to give you an update so I'm gonna put a conveyor block in there and then I can dig a tunnel down below and come out to a conveyor block here and then what my thought is that I can set up uh, up to, well, as many as I want, but I think the plan is ultimately is a large container here, a large container here, and they'll be joined together so I don't have to worry about piping, and then I could put two more towards on the back side. And I could add on as many as I wanted to. I could just keep adding and adding and adding out through here if I really needed that much space. But uh, starting with one large cargo container will really help alleviate the stress on the storage problem here. So I just wanted to give you an update. Once I get a little bit farther along on this, I will uh, catch back up with you all. Okay, just to kind of give you an update on where I am at on building this. So I've got the uh, uh, conveyor block right there. What I did was kind of tunnel, tunnel down in and under here. And so I'm going to be able to then put this piping right here. Now with that, I can build these out get the parts and then I'll continue to build those that tube out oh, 
components. All right, so we should be able to. We should be able to build this out here. And jump down here because I know I can get out. And then I could put the piping in over to here because this is where. That's going to be my junction. Uh, I want to leave two blocks there. One, and the cargo, large cargo, is three by three. So yeah, so I can put in. Actually, let's go ahead and do this. I can put that in right there, and I should be able to get down. I hope. Uh, if not, then I'll take it out. Let's see. See if I can get down and under here. Oh, I can. All right, perfect. So this one I'll have to build out each piece at a time. But we can do this. Uh, so I need a... conveyor pipe. Do that like that. Then what I'm going to do is get the parts for this one. And get the parts for that. And we can go ahead and build those out. That's in place. have that there. So now all I got to do is bring the pipes over and connect it up and then start covering up and then I can cover that all up and then build the large storage container in there. All right I just wanted to kind of give you an update on where I was at and you can kind of see what the progress is and what I have to do to, to get that build out. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'll uh, catch back up with you when I actually have the storage container in place. Okay, well, I got the storage, uh, large cargo storage in place, and you can see that it is connected. Here's the advanced assembler. I could grab stuff out of here if I wanted to. So it's all connected in. Uh, matter of fact, let's just go and grab something over here. Like these concrete and gravel. Of course, I'm not going to be able to grab all of that gravel, but it can go over into here now. Actually, I could have transferred it right over there, but I went and grabbed it. Let's go grab that, that, and let's do it like this. Let's grab, eventually this, I want to take this out. So if we go here, we got the transport container, and if we go over here, we go large cargo, there we go, I can grab all of this. Oh no, that's right. That's right, I can't because this is not connected. If I was at one of these others, so that's fine. We'll just grab some more gravel, we'll move it over. But that's kind of the idea. I want to get everything over into a large cargo container. And that way, we have a considerable amount more storage. And I can easily add another one here. And I just need to build out the blocks here. Uh, actually, two more rows. And I could easily add two more onto there. I'm hoping I'm not going to need any more storage than that. But as you can see, uh, the large cargo container uh, can really 
support a lot of storage just in the one. It's five times more than a small storage container. And then I uh, updated updated the checklist. So I wanted to add I wanted to add uh, storage. Got that done today. Uh, finished the upgrades on the cargo truck. So I moved that over. There'll be some tweaking. Finished the acid batteries up there on the power bank. So uh, those are done. And I readjusted this so that we had more room uh, on the LCD panel. Now ultimately, these are going to move, move these down into the control room, which I actually, I might be starting on that pretty soon. Uh, and that's going to be underground. That's going to be the storage room, uh, facilities, places to, to sleep, uh, bunk houses, uh, that sort of thing. And that's going to go underground. And so I'm going to work that out from the garage over. There'll be a tunneling system underneath there. So that's going to obviously take a little bit of work to do that. I have some ideas on how I'm going to go about doing that, getting it lined up. Uh, I'm going to make some templates and using a projector. That way I can project it down below and then I can hand drill out the tunnels to uh, get those in place and then continually build that out. So I got some ideas on how I want to do that. So we are closing in on close to 40 minutes. So I think at this point, this is going to be a good place to stop. Uh, I think uh, the next episode we are... Oh, I know one more thing I wanted to show you see so we brought this uh, brought the truck in right had it loaded uh, I'm assuming at this point it should all be pretty much empty there we go uh, completely empty and we did not have to hand unload that and load it you know hand unload into the various places so all of that was uh, removed automatically, which made that so much nicer. We just brought it in, parked it, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, the next episode, we are going to go after lithium. Uh, I know where that's at. So we will go ahead and go grab some lithium and get it back so it could be making lithium paste and that work is going to give us the ability to make our sensors because sensors uh, require actually what it what is it it uh, let me see so the laser emitter requires lithium paste and so it takes 20 of those. And I don't have enough lithium paste now to make all of the laser emitters. But once we go get that lithium, then we'll be able to get this completed. And that'll be a couple of more things off the old checklist. So, all right. Well, we've got a nice snowy evening going on here. And uh, I think it's a good time to call the video good. Again, we were right at 40 minutes, so very good. All right, well, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up and please subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.